It's 7 p.m. sharp. The governor has just declared a state of emergency and evacuations of the city are underway. My friends and I are huddled together here at the dormitory waiting for any news from the outside. My phone rings. My evacuation bus is here. It's time to leave. As I made my way downstairs, I noticed something unusual. Are you okay? Clearly not. I pushed him a couple times to see if he would snap out of it, and I shown my flashlight directly into his face to temporarily blind him. But there were more, a lot more, so I sprinted as fast as I could to the exit. Outside, it was pouring, but there were soldiers stationed nearby, and together we ran back inside to see if we could find any survivors. I didn't have a weapon, so the best I could do is just lead the soldiers to where all the zombies were, and they did all of the dirty work for me. I made my way to where they said the bus would be parked, and to my surprise, the area had been over run and the soldiers weren't letting anyone through but where was my sister she was supposed to meet me out here i ran over to the girl's dormitory to ask some of her friends but none of them seemed to know where she is except for one this person reports that she was taken to the police station a couple of days ago and that's the last place she was seen damn it i'd have to leave the campus and see if i could find her outside i linked up with my best friend fatty i told him the situation and we came up with a plan fatty would distract the guards while i escaped on the western end of the campus when the coast was finally clear i sprinted for the gate. Jumping over the wall was easy when you're as athletic as I am, but outside, it was complete devastation. Once Fatty linked back up with me, we had a long hike ahead of us. The area was infested with zombies, and I did my best to fight them off, but ultimately, we had to make a run for it. In the darkness, I couldn't tell who was who, so I ended up beating an innocent civilian with a hammer. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. But there was no time to dwell on mistakes. Oh, God. Uh, the other way. Oh my god, they're coming out of the windows now. But I wasn't the only person out here on a mission. Others were out in force trying to kill the zombies themselves. Oh, that guy has a gun. Let's wait for him to die. Unfortunately, he was pretty tough and we had to get out of there. It's a good thing we did because a swarm of zombies was heading our way. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Over the wall, over the wall, over the wall. Yep, run. We ran until we were completely out of breath and surrounded by zombies. Oh, man. What do we get into here? But finally, we made it to the police station. This place was fortified. There had obviously been a big battle that had taken place here, and people were still fighting. Inside, there was a police officer, but he was grievously wounded. I traded him a first aid kit for his pistol and a little bit of ammunition, and I proceeded to search the station in hopes that my sister was still here somewhere. It had been a while, but I remembered the lessons my father told me about how to use a gun. Never point it at someone unless you mean to kill your target. And with that in mind, I flipped the safety off. but we'd have to be careful with the ammunition. Oh crap, that's never good. Fortunately, there was a silver lining to being in a police station infested with zombies, and that is that many of the officers that had turned were still carrying their ammo. After spending some time looting and clearing the area, I finally made my way to the jail cells. And there she was, my sister, she's here and safe, but I'd need to break her out. I'd have to search for some keys, so I went into the nearby storage area and... Oh my god, a hand grenade in the desk, and also a cockroach, a kind of food, six times more protein than beef. I was already starting to feel hungry, but there's no time for snacks. I released my sister and a couple of her friends that she was locked up with, but unfortunately I couldn't find the keys to the other cells, so I left the rest of them to their own fate. And on the way out, more zombies. Fortunately, my sister's best friend forgot how to run and provided a great distraction for us as the rest of us escaped. Back on campus, we took a moment to remember the fallen and catch our breath. Things were really starting to get crowded here. This was basically turning into a refugee camp at this point. And at 2 a.m. we were roused by the soldiers. There was work to be done. My first task was to chop down some trees to get lumber for construction projects. I was given a tour of the defenses. It seemed like the soldiers had done a lot of good work so far. It was just up to me to patch up this last spot here. The soldiers and I took a little bit of a break here in the pouring rain and I set up a campfire for us. We weren't even a full day into the apocalypse and people were already losing their mind, wishing that it could be like this every single day. One of the other soldiers decided to tell us all the story. In that moment, we came under attack from the zombies. And it was up to me and just a handful of soldiers to fend them off. Oh, wow. Someone brought grenades. Hey, I have a grenade too. Quickly, throw it into the middle. Did it work? Oh, it worked. I was still a complete amateur at this. I didn't know where to stand. I didn't know where to shoot from. I didn't know where was safe. Oh my God, it's endless, endless zombies. 
had to rely on the soldiers to show me how it's done. But they weren't faring any better. Oh my god, they've swarmed where I was just standing over there. They are taking out the machine gun and the soldiers that were inside. After the battle was over, one thing was clear. We need to strengthen the school's defenses fast. Some people nearby had already fancied themselves as merchants, and they were selling some really good equipment for us, like machine gun parts. And even though I had been looting the city and zombies, I was still pretty hard up for cash. But luckily, oh my god, <laughs> he's gonna just buy my wood walls. The cockroach is worth two dollars. Some paper, <laughs> some bullet shells. Just like that, I have six hundred and sixteen dollars, which means I am going to purchase this desert eagle right here. So with my new supplies, I was put in charge of the eastern gate here. This would be the site of our next attack. Luckily, construction of the defenses was already well underway. All I had to do was set up some more walls, some extra machine guns, and make sure that this place held against the next couple of attacks. It took some getting used to, but the soldiers taught me well, and I was able to get a wall erected in no time at all. I chopped down a few more trees, and extended the defenses as far back to the west as I could. I spent a little bit of time exploring the campus and looting as much as I could. I could pretty much buy all of the supplies from various merchants that I found, but it's a lot easier if you just find it yourself. Of course, in a situation like this, you gotta find some downtime. Go! By the end of the day, I had added a blade trap, five extra machine gun turrets, and a mortar turret. And with just two minutes and 45 seconds left before the horde, I decided to use my time wisely by chopping some wood. I just wanted to make sure I had as many barriers, spike traps, and walls up as I possibly could. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Uh, you know what? These guys, these guys are not going to do very good here. Resist the zombies attack. Don't let them in. Roger that. Oh, we got special infected here. We've got some kind of a spitter zombie. Here we go. Three, two, one. It begins. Yep, I think this is the attack right here. They're kind of slowly trickling in. All right, let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately, on the eve of the attack, some of my companions had lost their mind. Oh, they're, they're pushing me around now. Get out of the way. What are you doing? Are they- they're, they're mad because my defenses are shooting them? Stop that! No! Alright, you guys asked for it! Given the situation, who could blame them? Alright, so far the outer defenses are holding strong. Just a matter of how many more zombies are left. Oh, jeez! Okay, some kind of a special attack there. That's what we build these leaves for cover for, although I didn't get around to it out on the outside there. Let's see if I can uh, quickly just throw some leaves up on the roof there. I don't know if that's helping or not. More leaves, lots of leaves everywhere. Also, I don't think that this is actually like a fortified position anymore. I'm pretty sure all the spit kind of tore things up a little bit, but I am safe here for now. Outer defenses still holding strong. Um, I just noticed there's some kind of an indicator at the top there. That might be something to do. Oh my god, I'm on, like on fire. What's happening? I am dead. Jeez, I didn't even see what happened. We are back to the beginning. It starts over. Okay, that was a bit of like a... There was a checkpoint of some variety there. Right, the thing at the top is fully green now, and that is going to bleed down and turn completely red. I guess we were almost at the end of the horde last time. We didn't even get to see the blade trap in action or any of the... the back defenses here. Jeez, kind of a weak horde compared to that first one that we faced. Oh yeah, you can like two-shot zombies now. This is great. Way better than the last pistol I had. So yeah, okay, that's what got us the last time, that kind of orange spit there. Oh, and now they're... these guys want to fight me again. I will shoot you. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Get out of here, man. Stop pushing me around. Now I'm out of ammo. Great. Look what you guys made me do. You made me waste all of my ammo. Here, get the freaking hammer out and hammer these guys down. It's... I don't think it's working. Okay. Well, whatever. Just leave me alone, guys. Okay. Oh, jeez, man. That stuff comes out of nowhere. Oh, another one. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. They have some long-range attacks, don't they? It's very hard to stay up front here. I think I need to probably pull back about over here and then kind of just look over this way so I can see what's happening. And I think that's it. Yes. Oh, level up as well. I didn't realize we were doing RPG elements. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. We can, uh, we can do gloves. We, uh, you know, all sorts of body armor here for our character. And it looks like the next wave will be in 22 minutes. It is currently day four. So, okay. I don't know yet if 
all attacks are going to occur on this flank here or if there are other places to defend. Okay, so I am going to hold out for one more attack. But in the meantime, I'm going to explore a little bit and see... Oh, you know what we should do? We should actually go, like, outside the wire this way and see if we can find any loot, like, outside. Oh, oh get, getting eaten a little bit. Yes, I, I was eaten. Oh, jeez. Okay, the outside area... It seems to be more or less clear right now. Oh man, this hammer. This hammer is not great. Can I get the other melee weapon that I have? Yeah, the, the, the pokey stick thing. All right, let's go on a little bit of an exploration mission here while we have a little bit of time before the next horde arrives. Oh, I can slide, that was fun. Okay, most importantly, I would like to find some pistol ammo. Prob I don't know where we're gonna find that. Like the police station seems like it would be a go. Oh, geez, spit, spit. Oh no, no, no. Wow, this place is dangerous, man. I'm down to 12 hit points already. And, uh, oh, geez, that doesn't seem like the way to go. Oh, geez, come on, come on, come on. Fast, 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 let's go. Oh, that guy's got a weapon. An AK or something. Oh, man, this is not a good place to be right now. I'm running out of stamina. I'm being chased by a dozen zombies. Okay, yes, get out into the open spaces here. Uh, building on fire. <laughs> Don't want to go in there, I don't think. All right, I've had enough searching the easterly direction. I'm going to try to go west again over to where the police station was and see if I can still go that way. This area out here seems much more tame. Fewer zombies. Maybe the other side is like the side that you're supposed to be attacked from and it's not really for exploration. And this area over here is where you're supposed to go out and do your looting. Oh, crap. Zombies in the roof. Okay, zombies are banging on the door. What? Okay, just a massive group of zombies chasing a chicken. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, fighting groups of people is difficult. Ah, run, run, run. Yeah, this place is not any more tame <laughs> than the other place. Um, what can I do here? Search this vehicle. Oh, it's got some wooden fortifications in the vehicle. Great. Okay, I think I've lost the group that was chasing me. Can I um, get back into this building, maybe? I can't even take one hit, though. If I take one hit, I am a goner, and I've got a hold other group of zombies on me. Great. Okay, get the gun out. Doesn't have any bullets. Okay, and step! Okay, I think I might have gotten the hang of the combat a little bit. Alright, I just want to see what's inside this house here. It's really my only mission right now. Money and the zombies. Money and zombie arms. You can turn that into chicken feed, it says. Alright, we've got a kitchen here with some food. Nice, take all of that. Oh, and every once in a while, someone just falls out of the roof. Okay, gotcha. Getting the hang of things here. Kill him, please. Pile of supplies on the ground. Whoa. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of good stuff there. Take all. All right, that appears to be it for this place here. I think we can exit out the side here. It is kind of difficult to see where the doors and such are. I guess you're just going to get used to what everything looks like. Could I maybe get inside this building on just above me here because I can see that there's first aid in there probably the most important thing to me right now okay we've got a puker top left <laughs> just puking on that guy that poor guy this chest here though is what I really wanted yes a big old first aid kit oh oh yes the uh, poison poison run I, I can't run very fast okay those guys are dangerous just turn a corner and immediately get spat on okay uh how are we looking on time we have 17 minutes before the next wave and my inventory is totally full i'm gonna see if i can make my way back to the base now and um perhaps set up a storage would be a nice thing to do and just kind of offload the inventory all right i'm gonna set this area up here as my little base camp see if i can do some construction and first and foremost get myself this box here for storage i assume here we go just get rid of some of my supplies in here make myself a sleeping bag it says this is good for fast forwarding the game and also saving okay we're currently four and a half minutes now <laughs> i slept right until the eve of the horde okay so hopefully that is going to occur here on this end. If it happens on the other end, it is just 100% game over. Okay, this time I'm gonna see if I can get myself a blade trap outside so it has a little bit more likelihood to do some damage. Let's put it right about here, I suppose. And it uh, doesn't seem to do anything against me, which is nice. These amateurs out front are kicking things off early, dragging a whole bunch of zombies over here. Hey, that blade trap is working great though. Okay, here they come. All right, the attack has now begun in earnest and they're pretty much not getting past the blade trap. Okay, a couple are squeaking by now. Let's just 
be careful that we don't get caught up in the spin. Oh, and these guys are trying to push me around again. You guys are the worst. What are we looking like out here? Looking pretty good. The blade trap's holding up well. I like that there, there's no degradation, it seems. There are no repairs. Okay, things are blow. Oh, we did lose the blade trap. My bad. Okay, so some combination of either degradation from wear and tear or exploding zombies. Oh my god, speaking of zombies, what do we got here? We've got some giant zombies that are lurking their way through. Slow, but powerful, it seems. Okay, okay, I, I need to fall back here. We need to kind of get out of here. Look, it, it looks like some of them are cops and others are prisoners. Oh, something is like rocking the whole area here. What is that? Stuff blowing up, I think, out here. Oh, and this guy, he's not even dead. Oh, boy, <laughs> get out of here. Oh, is it my mortar here? We gotta pay attention to this. Is this mortar actually working? I haven't seen it shoot anything just yet. And... I, I failed. I, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so it restarted me at the very beginning of the horde battle here. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think it, 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 it teleported us 10 minutes before the horde. I think I'm gonna have to call it right there. There, This game is... Um, Man, it's, it seems like it shows a lot of promise. I love the whole trap system. It's like Project Zomboid, only a lot fast, like arcade mode Project Zomboid, basically. So this is definitely a game that I'm gonna have on my wish list. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it, but I do think that it needs a lot of work. If it was released in its current state as it is right now, I would not be playing it. But it was fun to jump in here for a couple of hours and take a quick peek. Thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today at the university, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.